<laughs> that's an understatement. The ladies there are incredibly beautiful, uh, very nice, uh, open, and uh, seem to be sincere. The whole experience to me was wonderful. It's a life-changing experience, and uh, this was my first actual tour, but uh, I loved it. I'm very pleased with the tour. I've had a, a real opportunity to, to meet a lot of people, and, uh, and the uh, socials were excellent. I, I, I was overwhelmed at the number of ladies compared to the number of men. Uh, I, I was under the impression before that it was probably uh, four ladies for every man, but it looked like <laughs> 40. A lot different odds than that. Yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and the lady I sat beside uh, caught my eye and uh, we hit it off just instant. Oh, good. Uh, I took her information and uh, uh, she texted me uh, later that, that evening and uh, we arranged to meet the next day at, uh, um, okay. it was eight o'clock I guess, sure. or seven. Uh, okay. Yes, I, uh, when I got here I, I immediately decided I'd like to come back again in May. Uh, whether on the tour or whether to sure. meet that special person that I've already met. Uh, I, um, I heard about, you know, like newspaper report, like Ukrainian ladies, uh, almost the most beautiful women in the world. Right. Yeah, so I heard about, I know this, and, uh, and also at the station, I think they, they're very focused on Ukraine. I I'm, I'm, I made her, indeed, the first girl I talked in the social. She come talk to me, yeah. She yeah. when in the lobby she saw me and then she, she said she wanted to see me. Then later on I said, Wow, such a beautiful girl wanna see me, you know. <laughs> I never have such kind of honor. Right. So then talk more and I feel she's very serious. It's, it's idea when I want to. Oh, the hotel is wonderful, it's very nice, comfortable, convenient. It's a very comfortable short distance to everywhere we want to go. Right. Yeah, it's okay. a good place. And it's quiet too. I really respect the guy named Tom, our representative. He's wonderful, very good. Stand up our benefit. That's very, very important. Well, thank you. I, I, I appreciate you saying that. Uh, any comments on how we might improve the tour? Um, no, I, I have not think about this yet. Okay, all right. And so would you like to come back again? No, <laughs> because I, I think I found one. I don't need to come back. Yeah. The tour was very well structured. The hotel was magnificent. And I'm just happy. <laughs> Odessa is a very nice, nice city. People are very friendly and willing to help. I've never experienced anything like that before. You get to meet many beautiful women, you get to see how serious they are about you and if you want to develop your relationship with them. And you're guaranteed at least three that are serious. Okay. That you can develop a relationship with. Okay. You know, she touched me specially, so um, I said I want to meet this girl. There's so many women there that, you know, you, it's, like a like a like being in a candy store. Let's put it that way. It's a, it's a great time. And then the ladies are beautiful. Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> yeah, they're beautiful. I think I have. Uh, I, at the first social, uh, I'm kind of shy approaching women sometimes. So an interpreter who works for Anastasia came up to me and said, "Well, what are you looking for?" I said, "Well, you know, I gave her." She said, br uh, "Brunette or blonde." I said, "Well, that doesn't really matter." I said, "You know, it's just someone who initially." looks attractive to me and I pointed at someone out and I said we'll go ask her if she wants to talk to me and we sat down and we ended up talking uh, the whole social so at least probably about five hours so we had a great time. Ukrainian women are advertised to be very family orientate, orientated uh, is one. I think they've got some spirit inside them. Number two which is important to me uh, opposed to possibly Asian possibilities are just a little bit submissive um, and Latino just didn't quite call to me and actually looking at different sides and I was just, I, I bounced back and forth and I was looking at Ukraine and just something inside felt this is the direction for me. An old culture city, uh, it's a good representation of Ukrainian lifestyle. Uh, <laughs> good representation of Ukrainian lifestyle. Um, it has some really nice sections uh, of it. 
has some older parts of the city. Nice city, friendly city. Um, people seem a little standoffish at first, but you just engage in conversation, and, and the people are very warm. It's a, it's a nice, it's a nice city. Considering, oh, do I want to make this date? And the girls would be just like, the assistant girls like, give me the number, I will call for you. You need a date. If you're not being aggressive enough with your dating schedule and they have some, some girls that you've been thinking about, just let's see if we can get you a date. They don't like you to come here and, and not have some dates. And so if you're apprehensive, they jump right in, they assist, they get it going because the girls here, you know, they, they want to meet some men. It's a cold climate here, but there's warm people here. And um, it takes the chill off the weather, let's say. And you know what's funny? Yeah, I'm thinking about coming back. And actually, I got to get talking. Uh, I've been having such a good time with this, this woman I've been going out with. Um, talk about my really coming back to see her. We've got to pursue this just how serious. The staff is very friendly, you know, speaking English, um, cordial when you come in the door, uh, when you leave, saying, you know, hello, goodbye. Um, in that sense, it's a little bit. Um, superficial at the socials, but when you get them in on a one-on-one -on -one, um, occasion, you really get a chance to know them for a long time, get to ask them a lot of questions, get to things that just would get lost and be in between the letters, uh, in between the lines. Sure. If you're, you're sitting on the fence, and you want to come over and try and meet somebody, I'd probably recommend get online, try and make some contact with some women. Don't hesitate, come over, um, put your game face on when you come over and you can, you can meet a lot of women, it's nuts. It is nuts. How many, it's, it's funny because the United States, especially us older men, we're not used to attractive women looking to meet us. Here, they want to meet you. A good number of them want to meet you. Some just want to go out for dinner, but there's definitely a high number of ladies who want to meet a decent man, have a real relationship, um, and, and, and put together a, a nice family, a nice relationship with a man, put together a nice marriage. A lot of the women are marriage oriented over here. It's what's their, their social, their so, their, their, their society you know, teaches them as they grow up. Women want to get married and have a family. And so if you're looking to come over and meet somebody, you're sitting on the fence, sit if you want, let time fly by, don't do anything. And a year from now, you'll be sitting on the fence, think about what you're gonna do, and another year's gone by. Right. You know, right. get off the fence, take action, and you can make something happen.